If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to episode 2 of Learn Gatling series. In this video, we are going to see how you can get started with recording using HTTP proxy mode in Gatling. Recording is very inception steps to get your business transactions scripted. So it is one of the best way to learn the performance testing tool concepts as well. If you are not a beginner and if you have some kind of experience already, directly you can jump start with the uh, scripting. But if you are just started, I suggest you to start with recording concept, then you can slowly graduate to the advanced concepts. Like any other tool, Gatling supports recording using Gatling recorder software. So this is a Java based application. It will be embedded in your Gatling package. If you launch recorder.pat or recorder.sh, you will get this screen. So here you can configure the parameters which will help you to record your business applications. The steps are very simple, but initially if you are testing some corporate application or HTTPS traffic, then the settings might be overwhelming. So this video will help you to understand the concepts and how you can fix this in Gatling. Now we are going to see the configurations and we are going to record this scenario. So this is the online boutique.dev sample website from Google team. So here we are going to launch this website and then we are going to click on a product, add to cart, place an order and we are going to click on continue shopping button. And we are going to see how Gatling is getting recorded these steps. Before we jump start with respect to recording, first we have to understand the mode, how many modes are available and for the HTTPS what things needs to be taken care. So we're going to see this now. Very important step is proxy. So proxy is like a middleman where it will handle your requests and then it will talk to the backend server. It is important to know this concept because otherwise if you have any issues, it will be very tough to troubleshoot. Gatling recorder mode has two types. One is the HTTP proxy and the HIR, HTTP archive. So in this video, we're going to cover only the HTTP proxy. If you select the HTTP proxy at the top right, you will get these options. So here you have to mention the proxy port number. So this is the proxy where you need to configure on the browser or in your underlying operating system network settings. And Gatling offers uh, three types of HTTPS mode. One is self-signed certificate, which is a legacy. And then we have the uh, provided certificate. And then we have to generate the certificate uh, for Gatling. And then we have to mention the certificate and the PEM file. And then you have to mention the uh, package name, class name, and other uh, options like follow redirects, HTML resources, automatic referrers, uh, cache address, etc. And then you have to mention the output. And here you have a facility to uh, select the format, so which Java format you want, and also the encoding format. And like any other tool, Gatling also supports the allow list and deny list. Suppose if you're recording a public faced website, there might be some kind of advertisements or some trackers will be served. So if you don't want to record those uh, requests, then you can put them in the deny list using some regular expression. Or if you want to allow only the certain uh, URIs, then you can add that in the allow list. Then once everything is configured, you can just click on start. And then you can also have a facility to tag your requests. So which we are going to see it in a moment. So tagging helps us to group your requests and identify in your script so that you can uh, take care of them uh, in the uh, scripting phase. So these are the settings we are going to uh, see uh, in a moment. So now it's time for a quick demo. Let me launch uh, Gatling recorder and then we will see how to record. So go to your bin folder, Gatling charts, high charts. So this is your parent folder and inside this, just go inside the bin and double click on recorder.bat. If you're in Windows, if you're in Linux or Mac OS, you can open the recorder using .sh extension. Now let me double click on the .bat. It will launch the Gatling recorder. So here you have to select HTTP proxy. In next video, you are going to see HIR converter. And you have to configure the uh, proxy port. 
So this is the port which will listen. So make sure this is not binded to any other application. So this should be available in your operating system network settings. And here HTTPS mode, as I mentioned, there are three types. Self-signed certificate is the legacy mode. If you are going with this option, sometimes you may not be able to record it properly. You will get a lot of uh, SSL related errors. And if you have the uh, key store file and the password, you can uh, select this option. So most of the corporate applications, uh, they will uh, provide you the uh, certificate and other details where you can convert uh, into certain formats and then you can add it here and then you can enter the password. So here you can select the uh, key store type, either JKS or uh, PKS12. But we are going to use this certificate authority. We are going to instruct uh, Gatling to generate the uh, uh, CA for us. And then we are going to map those uh, certificate and the key value using these uh, two options. So here I have already created a, a blank folder called uh, Gatling CA. So this is where we are going to store our certificates and then we are going to install it in our uh, browser and then we are going to record using the online boutique.dev. So now let me uh, go back here. So there are certain uh, issues are there uh, in this particular option. We are going to see how to fix that. Otherwise, uh, if you're not fixing it, it will not record properly. So in this case, I'm going with uh, 9400 port number and I'm going to use Firefox as the uh, browser. So first thing is you need to just uh, delete everything. So just delete uh, whatever the default path. So it is displaying in a red color. We will fix this in a moment. And just click on generate CA. So this will ask you to the path where you would like to save. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to click on save. Now the certificates uh, has been generated and just click on OK. And in the left side, you can see in my folder, there are two files got generated dot cert dot pem and dot key dot pem. So here you have to do uh, some uh, file extension change. I don't know why it is there for Windows, this extension, but uh, might be in Mac OS or Linux, uh, this uh, format will work. So now let me just uh, quickly uh, rename this. So what you have to do is you have to just delete the uh, PEM and change this uh, format to uh, CRT. So this is for Windows. Now, if you see the icon has been changed. So now if you right click and uh, you can uh, go with the install certificate so that you can install it to your Windows operating system. But we are not going to do that. We are going to install a certificate in the browser. Okay, now here again, so there is a, a folder path, uh, the way the uh, slash works, uh, it's mix and matched here. So here you have to fix this. So you have to just change it to uh, this slash. So now you can see the red color uh, alert has gone. So you have to use the uh, appropriate uh, backslash here, otherwise it will not work. So now, what we can do is we have to launch our browser. So because you have to tell the browser, so we are going to capture the HTTPS mode uh, via Gatling so that the handshake, everything will work fine. Otherwise, you will not be able to record the uh, SSL uh, applications. So now let me launch my uh, Firefox browser. And here, if you go to uh, this uh, settings option and search for uh, certificates and click on view certificates, so here I already uh, have some uh, old Gatling related certificates. So let me delete this. So I'm going to delete or distrust. Okay, now click on uh, import and select this uh, .crt and click on open. Now you have to check this box, trust this CA to identify websites. And I click on OK and click on OK again. So now I'm going to uh, close this uh, settings and the next step is I'm going to change the uh, proxy for the Firefox. So I have, I'm using uh, Foxy proxy. Uh, I will cover this extension and other uh, Omega extension in another video. So here I've already configured this localhost 9400. So I'm going to select this. So now Firefox will listen to this proxy and then it will capture the uh, traffic. So now let us go back to uh, Gatling. So in the left side, I have Gatling window. On the right side, I have the Firefox with the proxy turned on. So now I'm going to enter the uh, package, say uh, online uh, boutique. It should be uh, lowercase. 
and then uh, class name recorded simulation let it be default and i'm going with the uh, java 8 but here you can select java 11 17 kotlin or uh, scala and i'm going to keep everything as uh, default output folder also uh, uh, simulations folder and encoding also unicode uh, utf8 and in the denial list i'm going to uh, add all the uh, static resources so no static resources so dot js dot css dot gif so everything will be ignored but other information like uh, trackers advertisements so those will be captured if there is a uh, any uh, tracker embedded in the uh, website so now we are good with the uh, settings so we have to configure the right proxy and we have to configure the certificate with the right format and we have to uh, add the certificate into the browser in case of uh, chrome or edge or whatever uh, flavor you are using you can you have to just uh, uh, make sure you added the certificate in your browser settings so now we are going to click on start and once you click on start uh, you will get another window where you can select the uh, tag information suppose if there is a uh, if it is not opening then there is an error so now see we have already clicked but it is not uh, displaying that uh, window because in the back end you can see the error so how do we see the error is using the command prompt so here if you just scroll up so it is clearly mentioning uh, the requirement failed dot uh, crt dot pm is not a file so we have renamed our file to dot crt but we have not changed it here so what we can do is let me just uh, change the uh, path here okay. now you can click on start so now this will open the gatling recorder so it is successfully launched and here i am going to add a tag say uh, 00 underscore launch so this is just for our uh, reference and I click on add now go to your uh, firefox browser and uh, just type online boutique dot dev so now in the left side you can see it properly captured and in the right side also it properly loaded so this means gatling is properly capturing the uh, traffic so now I'm going to click on the uh, this icon sunglasses. Meanwhile, you can change the tag whenever you want to, whenever uh, you are, uh, before clicking anything on your page, you have to make sure you are adding the proper tags. And I'm going to click on add to cart. And I'm going to click on continue shopping. That's it. So now you can go back to your uh, Gatling recorder and click on stop and save. So now everything is done. So to launch your a simulation you have to just uh, open this simulations folder so let me uh, launch here so here you can see online boutique so just uh, open this folder and here you can see recorded simulation.java now right right click and open in your uh, favorite editor and here you can see your uh, traffic and here uh, line number 18 uh, this is the base url and if you keep scrolling you can see the uh, each request so this is the request 0 request 2 so this is the get call for this this is the product and this is the uh, check so everything will be automatically added by gatling so only uh, job is to make sure we are properly handling everything like parameterization workload modeling and then uh, handling the errors so those things we have to take care so those concepts we will uh, see eventually but this is how you record your business applications using the uh, CA mode in Gatling. Make sure you are taking care of these errors properly, otherwise you will not be able to record it. In next video, we are going to see how you can make use of the HIR converter. So no need to go through this pain. HIR converter is pretty simple, which we are going to see in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.